The tennis ball collection is a challenge you'll often find at training events. The goal of the course is to drive around the five cones and pick up the tennis balls and place them inside the tires in the middle of the course. The most efficient way I have found to ride this course is to ride around the perimeter using my right hand to collect the tennis balls. That way my left hand is always on the clutch, engaging that friction zone, delivering power and cutting power as I go to pick up the tennis balls. I find picking up two at a time is the most efficient and then saving that last one in the middle for when I have a chance to, to get to it and, and put it in. So let's take a look at how it's done. Feather that clutch. Clutch is pulled in, rear brake is on. Drop them in, tight U-turn, swing back around to the outside. Clutch is pulled in, brake is on, feather that clutch out. A little bit of rear brake, slowing it down. Really slow down, balance, 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 and in. I have this course laid out in a nine meter square. It's good to try it at nine meters and then work your way down to six. Also putting the collection area for the tennis balls in a different spot, just to change it up. You never know what layout is going to be at an event that you're going to go to. Now here, gently throw them in, do a loop to the outside so that you can gather these two tennis balls, speed up a little bit, break, feather that clutch, and now slow down so that you can then throw that one in behind you and then come back. Time stops when you exit. And I find that to be the most efficient way to go around to collect the tennis balls with the right hand. So I've shortened the course down to six meters and I've moved the sack of tires a little bit further away from that last cone. So it's more difficult to throw the ball in. I'll have to actually pick it up, drive around and then drop it in. Let's take a look. Again, feed that clutch out. Constantly feathering that clutch really tight there. Slow down, make sure those balls actually go in. You want to be careful not to hit the cones. Don't want to drop the ball. So slow down as you go to pick up that ball. Eyes on the tennis ball. Come over, drop it in, pick up that last one. Tight as you can, tight as you can, and in. If you're looking to change up your training routine to work on developing that friction zone use, try the tennis ball collection. It's a great one to do to just have some variation in your training protocols if you're coming up to an event. Again, try it at nine meters, try it at six meters, move the center cone around a little bit just to make it a little bit more challenging on how tight your turns need to be to be able to come back and put those tennis balls in there. Let us know how you do in the comments below. See you on the next video. Pull in that clutch. Give it some gas. Pull in that clutch. Rear brake now so I can slow down and grab that tennis ball. Focusing my eyes where I need to put them in. Come over, drop them in. Full lock. Turn that bike. Clutch is pulled in, I'm coasting. Speed up. Rear brake, clutch is pulled in. Come back. Slow down to be able to drop them in. And the last one goes in as well. Oh, missed it.